Welcome to the uh, ping pong ball challenge. I'm just going to go through some examples. Um, you can see here this first one is made out of Lego Mindstorms. And um, this one uses uh, spinning wheels and um, is able to launch uh, the ball a little over six feet um, into that uh, trash can. Um, and so you can see that um, you can go um, and use Legos if you desire. You can use Mindstorm or you can use uh, uh, other um, Lego uh, solutions. Just up next is a much more simple solution, just some rubber bands, some sticks and a spoon. And you can see that uh, this one uh, gets about 10 feet. Um, so you can have some fun and be as complex as you like, or you can be as simple as you like. Now here's an example of something that's over and above um, what um, we were expecting, but one of our high school students went and built a trebuchet. They catted it up, um, uh, machined out the, all the wood, uh, assembled it, um, used some dowel rods, um, a lot of rubber bands, um, some weights, and was able to uh, build a trebuchet. And if you want to have some fun, go look up what a trebuchet is. You can see there that the uh, ping pong ball is launched, <laughs> and this uh, contraption launches the ping pong ball about 25 feet. And uh, it's a fantastic solution. Um, just remember that this is a very complex solution. We're not expecting every student to uh, attain uh, this. So just have some fun with it. Do what you can with um, the materials that you have, and let's see how far um, you can get. Um, and this student is able to walk you through a little bit of how the trebuchet is set up, um, the, uh, the launching device that uh, the student uh, was able to create for this um, mechanism. And then you can see here in just a moment the uh, measurement uh, that the student was able to uh, achieve um, just here at the end.